Okay, well after much searching I think we may have found our gearbox. This being an old um, Yamaha motorcycle engine. DT50. Completely cactus. And um, bits are missing. <coughs> now, the beauty about using this as a gearbox is we can actually change the gears. So we can either have the weight fall down slowly and have the generator put out a small amount of current or we can shift it up some gears and have it fall a bit quicker and put out a larger amount of current. So it become in handy adjusting the gear ratio without actually having to adjust any um, sprockets or gears themselves. Simply uh, weld the lever off of the uh, gear stick and change the gearing as we need it. So we'll have to uh, strip this down, do a few mods, balance up the crank, cut the old conrod off it and um, see how we go from there. Alright, our motor's in pieces and um, all set out, ready to get put back together. Our first job is to chop off the conrod. We'll press the crank apart and remove the conrod and um, place some weight in there and try and balance it up as close as we can get it because this will be the part that is spinning fairly rapidly. The other option is just to get a uh, straight bit of shaft, same size, and put that straight through the motor, but I might keep this because save a bit of machining. This sprag clutch out of a starter motor just so happens to be the right size to fit on there. And, um, You'll find out what this is being used for a little later on when the uh, machine is up and running. The clutch pack we won't need. I'll simply screw the drive plate straight to the basket. <coughs> uh, gears will be going back in along with our selector shaft. And of course we'll clean that back up put a cap on top of the open crankcase, seal that off and put the covers back on and make sure the unit is all sealed again we can then put some nice thin machine oil in the gearbox to re reduce the uh, friction inside it so what we'll do now is go ahead and modify this crank and um, put it all back together and carry on with the project Alrighty, motor's back together, or gearbox should I say now. We'll just cut the old crankshaft off, oh the conrod sorry. Welded it in position and welded four nuts in there to balance it up a bit as well. Rough as I know but um, soaked in oil so it's a little bit tricky to weld but it'll stay in there. Now, because this is now becoming our input shaft and this is our output shaft means at the moment first gear is actually the highest output gear so we are in high at the moment and we get a 12 to 1 reduction like that. Now I've put the clutch plates and everything back in left all the uh, bits we didn't need out and that was simply just because it was the easiest way to drive the um, clutch basket which in turn drives the crank so uh, 12 to 1 in first and I would imagine that it would be something like 11 to 1 in second, 9 to 1 in third, 7 to 1 in fourth, something like that anyway. Which means that we can gear this up by putting a small sprocket on here and a large sprocket on the drum and if it's too high we simply drop it down a gear until such time as it drives most efficiently. This shaft here will of course be coupled to the generator itself and um, around the drum we'll have our wire wrap going up over a pulley onto the weight. So 
So, so far so good, that's very easy to turn. So, um, doing well so far. Alright, time to make up some framework. Start adding some chains and sprockets. Cheers guys.